Midjourney recently rolled out an exciting update. Video generation. It's a super handy way to bring your AI-generated images to life with animation. In this chapter, I'll walk you through how to use this feature and show you how to get the best animation results from Midjourney. First, let's start with the basics. We'll be using the Midjourney web interface. If you're not familiar with how to use it yet, make sure to check out the Creating on Web and V7 section of the course. It'll walk you through the functions and layout of the web page. The easiest way to create a video is by starting with an image you've already generated in Midjourney. For example, let's take one of the posters we made using prompts. Just click on the version you like, and you'll see an Animate Image button in the bottom right corner. There are a few animation options to choose from. To keep it simple, let's start by selecting High Motion without adding any extra prompts. Just like with images, Midjourney will generate four video variations for each task. This task took about 50 seconds to complete. Once it's done, you can hover over any of the four videos to preview them. They all play at the same time, so you can easily compare the results. Since I didn't add a specific prompt, Midjourney automatically animated the image by rotating the building. You can also manually scrub, play the videos at your own speed, by holding the control or command key on your keyboard and moving your mouse back and forth over them. Each one spins in a slightly different direction, and the AI even adds extra details to make the animation feel more natural and believable. Each video is about five seconds long, but if you want to extend it, it's super easy. You can choose Extend with either low or high motion, or even use this video as the starting frame and then add a prompt to generate the next scene. For this example, I'm using the still image as the starting point and adding a prompt to describe the scene I want. To do this, first enlarge the image, then head to the bottom right corner. You'll see the option Animate Manually. Click that, and then simply enter your prompt in the bar at the top. I'll ask the AI to show the building under construction, gradually gaining floors, so we can compare it with the previous version that didn't use any prompt. This set took a bit longer to generate than the one without a prompt, though I'm not sure if that's directly related. But you can definitely see the difference. The building is growing taller in the animation, just like I described in the prompt. It's really well done. Personally, I still like the automatic animations without prompts, especially since the default videos are just five seconds long. These usually focus more on enhancing the overall atmosphere of the image, which feels pretty intuitive. Here are some examples I created in Midjourney. Basically, if your start image is strong, the videos turn out great. You can either write a prompt to guide the camera movement or simply let it play naturally. It works really well for architecture, landscape design, and interior design projects, delivering natural-looking results across all three. Now let's move on to another really useful feature, creating a video using a start and end image. In this example, I first used the sketch to rendering function, then took those images as the start and end frames to generate a video. If I want to create more sequences, I simply repeat the process, using the previous end frame as the new start frame and pairing it with another interior rendering in the same architectural style as the end frame to produce the next part of the video. In short, the video function is very straightforward. The real key is writing an accurate prompt to get the best image outputs first. Um, I've updated the full guide on how to use Midjourney's video function in our online course. Another fun approach is starting with a 3D model photo and transforming it into a realistic rendering. Or using an architectural exterior as the start frame and the matching interior as the end frame for a smooth storytelling transition. 
I made a video earlier comparing trending AI video tools, and for start and end image video generation, I personally think Midjourney performs the best. Most of the time, the transitions between the two spaces feel very smooth and natural. Next, let's see how to use our own image. Here I'm using one of my previous renderings, from SketchUp to Photoshop, showing a 3D aerial view in NYC. I just drag the image into the starting frame and hit enter to generate. I really like how the AI rotates the perspective of this aerial shot. It adds a whole new dimension to the presentation. You can also create videos with Midjourney directly in Discord. Due to YouTube's time limits, I've included the full step-by-step -step process inside my Midjourney online course. If you want to learn how to write powerful prompts and use Midjourney from beginner to advanced, enroll in mastering architecture, landscape design, and interior design with Midjourney. The course is updated with every major Midjourney release and comes with lifetime access.